it called math lady yep we're still doing review that's right <laughs> well, what are our topics for today well we've got multiplying and dividing powers of 10 that's important and ordering decimal numbers I think you've got that but hey these are review review is important so we can lay the groundwork for algebra so take a look at some of these highlights and if you need more, you know that by topic section of the website. All right, it's Nicole the Math Lady. I will see you soon. Take care. Here's a rule for multiplying powers of 10. When we multiply powers of 10, we only have to add the exponents together. So 10 to the second power, 10 to the third power is going to be 10 to the fifth power. And let's actually show you how that works. Well, we know that 10 to the second power has two zeros in it, which is 100. And to the third power has three zeros in it. So 100 times 1,000, just count up the number of zeros. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so 100,000, which is the same thing as 10 to the fifth. It only makes sense that a similar kind of thinking would work for when we're dividing powers of 10. So we're going to divide 10 to the third by 10 to the second. All we have to do is subtract our exponents here. 3 minus 2 is 1. 10 to the first power. Let's take a look at what that actually means. So this one has three zeros divided by two zeros. Well, 1,000 divided by 100. We know we can just cross out zeros to see what's left. It means that all we have left is 10, and 10 to the first is 10. So the rule, when multiplying powers of 10, add the exponents. When dividing powers of 10, subtract the exponents. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, here's the key to comparing decimals. It's all about the place value. What do I mean by that? Well, you can see here we have three decimals, 17 hundredths, 167 thousandths and 24 thousandths. So what I'm going to recommend is that you line them up by place value. So line up your decimals. So the first one is 0 0.17, 0 0.167, 0 0.024. Okay, so let's take a look. We start with the tenths place. And we see that there's a zero here, and there's a one here and here. So we know that this is the smallest number because it starts out with a zero. It's less than the other two. So you always just start with the tenths. So we're gonna put our first number 0 0.024. Okay, done with that one. Now let's look at the next two numbers. So they both have ones in the tenths place. So now we move out to the hundredths place. We have a seven here and a six here. Which one is smaller? The sixes. So we know our next smallest number is 0 0.167 because again, we are comparing the hundredths place. And then our last number is our 0 point, 0 point, I gotta write that right, one seven. Okay, so again, the rule is you're comparing the place values. You start with the tenths, see which is the smallest or biggest, then you can move out to the hundredths if you need to. You move out to the thousandths if you need to. Let's try a few more examples. Here we have two decimals, 54 hundredths and 54 thousandths. Which one is smaller? We're going to compare them. Well, let's line them up. Zero. 0.54 and 0 0.054. Let's start with the tenths place. So I'm going to circle it so you can easily see it. Which one is the smaller number? Oh, it's easy to see that our zero is the smallest number. So this number is going to be the smaller one. 0.54 is greater than 0 0.054. What about this decimal? 0.600 and point six. Hmm, what do we do? Let's line them up and take a look. 0 0.600, 0 0.6. So we can see that when we first look at the tenths place, six equals six. Well, let's move out. We have a zero here, 
But don't we also have a zero here? Even though it's not written, we know, I read it with a dashed line, that it's still a zero. And actually, this is still a zero. And we could actually add as many zeros as we wanted to this, and it would still be the same. So when we compare these two decimals, we know that our answer will be equal. Doesn't matter how many zeros go past, the place values line up, so they're equal. One last example. Take a look at this. 0 0.12345 compared to 0 0.12. Well, let's line them up with the decimals and see what happens. 0 0.12345. 0.12. Let's look at the tenths place. The same. The, t the hundredths place. The same. When we get here to the three, well, what do we know is happening down here even though we don't see anything? We know that it's a zero. So we can put a zero here. And actually, we can put as many zeros as we want. But we're going to compare what's in the thousandths place. Zero and a three, which one's smaller? The zero is. So we know that this number is smaller than this number. So our correct comparison symbol is greater than. And that's it. All different sorts of ways to look at decimals, but it all boils down to the same thing. Compare place values, start with the tenths, and work your way to the right if you need to. Okay, make sure you practice the practice examples, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.